All right, boys and girls. This is Bear from Ash and Bear. We're going to start a new series of XCOM 2. Played on the Xbox One. We are going to play this in Veteran. And then next series, I'll probably go to Commander. The series after that, probably give Legend a try. We're going to stay away from Tutorial. We are going to reduce the beginner voiceover and the subtitles we're going to have on. The, let's see, the, um, that's about it. Before we jump into this, I want to first say, if you're watching this video, I appreciate you clicking on it. If you like it, I really appreciate it if, you, if you'd uh, say like, leave a comment if uh, there's something you think I need to work on, or, um, Subscribe if you really like it and you want to see more of this. So I'll probably be trying to do the, quite a few of these a week. So uh, let me know what you think. Let's jump in right now. Oh, uh, Iron Man. Yeah, we're going to do Iron Man. Why not? Uh, and the DLC, Shan's Last Gift and Alien Hunters. We're going to play through both those storylines. And now let's jump in. See you in there. of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Say how much I like that opening scene. Uh, let's see here. So we're gonna get our first look at our team. Time to take the fight to Advent. We're heading into the city center to take down a public target. Something that will get people's attention. Neutralize any security forces in the area. Keep your heads down. All right. Operation Gatecrasher. Briefing. Uh, where our job is to sabotage the Advent Monument. 
Objective, neutralize all enemy forces and plant the explore on the monument. Advent Central Precinct in Tijuana. All right, let's jump into this. Charges at the designated position. Am I around the back side of it? I am. Never been over here before. God. All right, so let's see. We got Garth Sully DeAngelis, uh, Kevin Reptile Judd, Kathy Momo Johansson, and Jabari MVP Harris Beth. So let's see what we're going to do. Ah, all right, since so nobody's in sight right now, we're going to go over there. We're going to go around this way. We can see anybody. So we don't have any time restraints on this mission. So I suggest taking it on my way. fairly slow. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we well, dealt with. That was quick. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. All right, let's set up this ambush. Uh, let's see, we're going to put you here. Moving to position. Okay. We're going to put you. Where are they? There. Put you there. Can you see them? Yep. Heading out. Are you there? Uh, you, sir. You were being right here. On yep. the move. Are you there? Uh, let's see. I do, uh, I can do it right now. The ambush. Let's do it. Alright. Scanning. Overwatch. Confirm. Overwatch. I'm going to leave him to clean up any mess if we miss anything. Um, and we'll let you take the shot. 65%. See what we got. It's down. They're on to us. Nice shot. All right, two more. Good riddance. Oh, we got a miss. Get it together. Alright, let's see here. 54%. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I might just uh, finish him with a grenade. Hopefully, he doesn't have the loot on him. Still clear. Yeah, right, beautiful. So they're gonna. So they just revealed themselves on their turn, which is perfect. So hopefully we'll have another uh, Overwatch shot. Yep. see here. This is what we're going to do. Alright, so you're out in the open. We're going to have to get you, Reptile. We're going to have to fix you somewhere. Momo. 
kind of shot through at 46%, 26%. All right. uh, let me see. Let me come back here. You can see him. He'll be out of view, so I'll make him run. Uh, let's do that. Let's move you over here. Do is move these back away far enough to where the uh, troop, the officer can't see him. To where that officer can't see him, it'll make him come forward for a. It'll draw him out. They'll have he'll have to move forward in order to. Come, come get us, and we'll be able to do some kind of a um, or another Overwatch shot. Uh, but I'm trying to because, uh, or I can I want to throw, but I don't want to throw a grenade because I know he's carrying the loot. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is shoot. Uh, maybe we'll just fall everybody back. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just have everybody fall back far enough to where nobody can see him. We'll draw them out. I'm going to try that. Let's see. Let me see yet. Moving out. Go back to full cover. Uh, we'll drag you back here. If that's going to be full cover. No, not full cover. I mean, uh, I think that'll be. I think got a full cover here, though. Orders that. confirmed. On the move. All right, so you. You're here. Can that officer still see you? Yes, he can. Uh, so, do your same thing. Yep. Here. Out of sight. The only thing is that this one here will come forward and probably flank me. Alright, let's just move you back. Uh, I'm going to move back to the cover somewhere. No full cover anymore. Um, all right, you know, I'm going to be aggressive. I'm going to move back Moving here. On location. Out of sight of everybody. Wait, who used to see? Who used to see him? I didn't think you could see it. Right, I'm going to get here. Moving to position. All right, you. We're going to Overwatch. Hopefully he'll come out. Why didn't you get a shot at him? Right. Well, my guys are not doing too great. They're all over me. Right. Well, at least now. Now, all right, Matthew Johansson. Let's see if we go here. We'll be able to... right. I don't know if this will get rid of the cover. Let's give it a try, though. I don't think so. I think that's strong enough cover where we won't get rid of it. Yeah, cover's still intact. Alright. Let's see 
think I really messed this one up. You know what? I don't care about the loot. I gotta get rid of that. I gotta get rid of that, that officer. Stay in full cover. We're gonna have to uh, try to draw him out. Let's have you come over here in full cover. And let's have you. Over here in full cover. I'm all over it. I'm lucking out so far. If I can luck out this one time right here. I'm just getting lucky because they're bad shots. Let's see, 65%. I'm going to take that 65% shot. Really might be carrying something. Here, we take a flanking shot. 82%. Well, that worked out, even though it was uh, <laughs> not the smoothest run. It all worked out. What I pick up? A scope, an agility, uh, personal combat sim, and a data pad. That was a big loot drop. I'm glad I didn't destroy that. So we're just going to move him up to um, to finish this. Uh... That guy in the way? Let's see. You're going gonna... uh, to have to move there, buddy. Understood. Will you move? Up. Okay, good. Menace 1 5. You're near the target position. Alright, and then next time it'll Menace one five, we have a limited go. window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Here we go. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charges. All right. Well, that was flawless. It was uh, not by by far not my best uh, outing, but uh, it took us eight turns. We killed all six enemies. Took no wounds. No one was killed. So even though it was kind of a a backward way to do it, we uh, we did it great. Uh, let's see. So Operation Gate Crasher, a hundred percent shot shot uh, percentage. 2.6 damage per attack, average enemies killed per turn was 0.75, average cover bonus was 29%. Uh, Garth had the most damage, Kathy made the most attacks, uh, Reptile was both the most under pressure and moved the furthest. All right. So yeah, one thing, the, um, actually, hold on to that thought, I'll tell you after this cutscene. If every mission goes this smoothly, it's only a matter of time before we regain control of the planet. Alright, so let's see, uh, what these guys are going to get promoted into. Operate. 
training some of our most advanced equipment. Specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Alright, so Sully is our specialist. MVP is our grenadier. Sully is our demolitions experts. The grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Alrighty, let's see here. Reptile is our ranger. It serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Which means Momo is going to be our sniper. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Alright, uh... So that was actually a really good, good, good mission. I guess that's the worst way to complete a, a mission flawlessly. Alright, so like I said, we got a scope that increases our aim by 5%, our agility, which increases our dodge by 10%, an advent data pad, which we're going to have to uh, research to get the uh, data out of that, uh, which I believe is intel, five trooper corpses, a corpses, and one officer corpse. So it looks like even blowing them up with grenades, because I did blow up that, uh, that first one, uh, and the officer with grenades, uh, you still get to recover them, which wasn't the case in, in X, XCOM Enemy Unknown. Alrighty. Commander to the Here's base. Alright, so we're going to go to the research lab, see what Dr. Tiger has to say. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the alien's technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit, a device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the <clears throat> precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Uh, farewell, Dr. Tyson. Alright, so new research. Uh, we always start with modular weapons. Um, the, the alien biotech will come later. Hybrid materials will come later. Modular weapons, we need that we need to put those scopes and the repeaters and the stocks, all that stuff on the weapons find now. The area so. of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Also, you'll notice I'm going to try to not speak while um, the character, when I hear in-game talking going on. So uh, that's why usually if I, I might stop talking right in the middle of a sentence. Uh, but I'll try to remember to pick it up afterward. We'll go ahead over to engineering, Doctor. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave 
everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Well, thank you, Lily Shen. All right, so we're going to build, again, starting off, usually the beginning is always, you know, pretty standard, uh, and then it's very, it, uh, it'll, it'll deviate from there when um, we figure out where we are and things like that. So flashbang grenade, flashbang grenade, and a med kit are usually the first two things I buy from her, and I usually always start building our facility. Right up here in the middle, we got an open, and we're going to start with a real tactics school right there. Initiated. All right, let's head to the bridge. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Well, thank you very much, Central. All right, our first uh, scanning is going to be for some supplies. Avenger plotting new course. Uh, four days, three days for modular weapons. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. All right, modular weapons is complete. This will let us uh, new research available, magnetic weapons, uh, weapon upgrades available also. All right. I always want to do magnetic weapons right off the bat, but it just, it, it takes, a 28 days always scares me. Um, I don't need supplies right now, or intel, I don't need intel right now, biotech, we're going to go with the biotech. Now, actually, you know what, we're going to go with the uh, hybrid materials this time. Yeah. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. All right, let's head to the bridge. See if there's something else. Oh, no, we've got to finish getting the supplies. Strategic resource located. <clears throat> Although Advent conducts regular patrols throughout the region, pockets of resistance in the area remain. We reached out to the local resistance sources, and they pointed out several buildings nearby that have been stashing contraband in, that they've been stashing contraband in. They offered up what they could spare, 60 supplies. Well, much appreciated. Get some rookies, all right, we'll go get those. There's really, really nothing else, nothing else we can do. Now, we could always go to uh, Resistance Headquarters and get some... Um, Get some um, intel, but we, again, we don't really need that. That'll come. In. That'll come. In later. So let's scan for this hybrid materials coming I'm online. Sure we'll find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. All right. So um, new item available: a nanoscale vest. We can actually buy that, and new research available: plated armor. Now that's going to take. A long time to the plated armor is great when you start doing that. Still 28 days. Let's go with alien biotech. There's no way. Immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. I'm sure you know. Obviously, it's not gonna. We're not gonna be able to finish researching before 
the first real obstacle to that book. But we'll start. Let's see. Where these? Yeah, that was quick. All right. The new target, new Gorilla Ops target. So let's see what it is. I'm sure it's going to be... Yeah, yeah usually the first one's an engineer to get you started. Uh, Operation Gilded Saga. Our goal is to protect the device. It's an easy mission, so they say, in New Mexico. And we are going to be receiving, if we complete it, Dr. Constantina Galanos, an engineer. So that's uh, for the Mexican regional definitely a good reward, especially early on. All right. Now with easy missions, I'm not gonna. We're protecting the device. I'm not going to uh, really worry about not, on easy missions. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to bring in at least a couple of rookies, at least one. But uh, hopefully, I'm gonna try to do two. The Rager we're going to get rid of for this mission, um, and him, and the uh, specialist. Pull in some new new people to get going. Me, I'm definitely going to be in there, and um, or, uh, uh, Sunny Curry Chaudhary. Put him in there. All right, so we got two rookies. And two squaddies. Uh, we do have the, I think it was a scope, wasn't it? Weapon upgrade. <clears throat> yeah, let's add the scope. Five aim to our sniper. And um, usually the, the PCS that I give them, uh, dodge, uh, I usually put on somebody that's going to be close or somebody in the in the battle. Oh, we can't even use Sims yet, can we? All right, that's fine. Uh, let's see. And we also have a a med kit. I do this, Sunny. And let's give flashbangs one of. Or Grenadier. All right, that looks like our team. It's going to be uh, Bear as our rookie. MVP is going to be our Grenadier. Chaudhry uh, Curry is going to be our another rookie, and Momo is going to be our sniper. All right, I want to thank y'all for uh, for tuning in. If you watch the whole video, uh, thank you very much. Uh, once again, like it if you if you really do like it. If you uh, think there's something I can improve on, which ha, I'm almost positive you can find something I can improve on, uh, please go ahead and leave it in the in the comment section below, and I will uh, I will get back to you. And um, thank you very much for your time. If you really like this channel or like what I'm trying to do, uh, I'd appreciate it if you uh, subscribe. That's it. Uh, have a good day, and I'll see y'all next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.